Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Barson, and today I'd like to talk to you about pH. Now, pH, or the potential of hydrogen, refers to the relative acid or base level in the body. So, why is this important? Well, pH can help determine how well oxygen is transported in the body, how well nutrients are transported into the cells, how well waste products are eliminated, and even energy production in the body, how much energy is produced in the body, ATP we call it. So a balanced pH is really considered by many authorities to be one of the foundational building blocks of nutrition and health. But how do you test for it? Well, there's a lot of expensive and sophisticated tests out there. I'm here to tell you they're really not necessary. We've had some of those. The cheapest, easiest at-home way to measure these things is with a simple litmus paper test. So a litmus paper test, you can find these at many different places. You can find these at relatively uh, common online pharmacies. Even our local Whole Foods market carries these. They're about 14 bucks per test or per roll. Last time I checked them, it gives you about enough for 50 to 60 tests, depending on how much pH paper that you're tearing off. Um, we also have these available at our online website as well. It's www.healthquestforme.com. That's F-O-R, healthquestforme.com. Simply go to our products section and then under testing supplies. We charge 14 bucks as well, but that includes tax and shipping to any place in the United States, in the continental United States, that is. Anyways, you can find these a lot of different places. And so we test three different solutions with this thing. You can check blood, although that's done more in a clinical setting, and that's actually the least important. The most important ones for us is saliva and urine. So saliva is simply tested by tearing off a couple inch strip you get it a little bit wet, and you compare the color with the number. The lower the number and the lighter the color, the more acid we are. The higher the number and the darker the color, the more alkaline we are. So on a 0 to 14 scale, with 7 being neutral, an ideal range is about 6.4 to 7.0. Now this is including urine and saliva. So here I am about 7.0, so that's nice. And with testing methods in through here, again, first morning is ideal, so that includes a first morning urine and a first morning saliva. The values don't have to match each other, but so long as they're both within that 6.4 to 7.0 range, I really like those uh, pH rolls that I just showed you because they're, they, they have subtle gradations of 0.2, so you can check small little improvements in through there, whereas other ones have bigger gradations in through there and they're not quite as accurate. So 6.4 to 7.0 being ideal, 6.8 is technically perfect because that's the pKa of the phosphate buffer system. If you're really technically and chemistry minded, not really necessary, but nonetheless, there's a lot of controversy over what constitutes an ideal pH. 6.4 on the low side to 7.0 on the high side is really ideal. So more information about this can be also found on my website. And again, this is www.healthquest for me.com. Go simply go to my learning center, and there are a number of other articles on through the related health and subject subjects of nutrition and health. There's one on pH. Check, be sure to check out some of my PowerPoint classes as well. pH really really important because it also helps uh, when it's balanced can help stave off and minimize tendencies toward osteoporosis, premature skin aging and degeneration, lowered immunity, and so forth. So again, there's a number of other. Uh, educational materials that you can find on our website about this. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation and thanks for watching.